It is a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. You've never been out of college. You don't know what it's like out there. I've worked in the private sector. They expect results. Welcome to the Magician's Advice Podcast. Honest advice from working magicians. With your hosts, Phil Taylor and Ian Brennan. Hello and welcome to the Magician's Advice Podcast. My name is Phil Taylor and I'm joined by my co-host, Ian Brennan. Say hello, Ian. Hello there, Phil. How's it going? All right, thanks. Yeah, um, this is sort of a um, a sad day, but a necessary day for um, us as a podcast. Now, I don't know if any of anybody's even noticed we haven't put a podcast out for a couple of months, and we've had no one really contact us and say we've missed these podcasts. So, <laughs> looking at me now, that, that so we're going to draw it to a close because, um, yeah, it, it's sort of. It's it's come at a natural point for both me and Ian. Ian's sort of world of uh, I'll let him explain in a minute. Um, is took off in in his sort of um, professional life, uh, um, in his career. I've had a career change and a career path as well, and we want to put more time into our families and other bits and pieces as well that we want to do with that, with our own new hobbies and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, so it's a sad day. We're going to be putting the podcast um, to bed for a while. We might revisit it in the summer, maybe in a year's time when we feel like something to say, but we've pretty much had our say on everything and every topic. We spoke to some amazing guests. The podcast is still going to be there. You can still listen to it and you can still check out the website if you want to uh, for other bits and pieces. But yeah, we're going to be drawing it to a close. And um, yeah, thanks for listening for over the years i don't know over to you ian yeah i i just want to echo what you've said there phil it's been an absolute blast it's been loads of fun it's been seven years i think we've been going for seven calendar years now which is amazing um i i teach kids in schools that are less old than this podcast and then the, uh, they've started school when this podcast started and they've got up to secondary school now it, you know it's absolutely crazy um we've been going for that long and we've got such a huge amount of people that have contacted us along the way in the journey and left ideas with us to make our magic better and hopefully we've shared a lot of those things with you uh, our listeners out there we've had we have had a few people contact us saying about what's going on with the podcast and um our patrons know already hopefully that this is all drawing to a close so thank you again for all the support and thank you for all the patron support over the years as well we we literally couldn't have done it without all of you um the, you've covered all the hosting fees and more and you've, you've just made this podcast exactly what it is so thank you thank you thank you for all of that support and if you're listening out there and you're one of the guests that have been on the show in the past thank you for coming on and chatting with us if you're one of the guests that has got in touch with us in the last month or so i'm sorry we haven't had you on this is why um it's nothing personal it's just we're, we're, we're winding down to the close and I, I can't believe the journey we've been on phil we started off as two professional magicians but quite young magicians and then now we're we're gigging we've got lots of regular gigs well paid money coming in there and uh, it's quite nice that our last podcast official one was sort of our, our talk at the Leeds Magic Jam I thought it was yeah. quite nice but episode 190 gosh 190 190 wow crazy <laughs> absolutely yeah. crazy yeah um I, I are you going to Blackpool or not uh I'm not going to be going to Blackpool this year no I've not got a ticket I've taken it work again. So I've got two magic gigs on the weekend. Um, so I don't know whether I'm the first person they called or whether they went down the list of magicians and I'm the first one that was free. But but yeah, I'm I'm working. You? No, I think I'm um I'm I'm coming out of the community for a little bit. I want to sort of break from from uh magic. Uh, first time in 15 years. Uh, I've got other sort of interests as well. And I wanna I'm not gonna give up magic and performing. I just wanna sort of come away from the community and have my own thoughts and try and build my own sort of repertoire my own effects i've got enough knowledge in there in my head swimming around and what i have been enjoyed doing is is making up new effects for myself um and really the creative side of of magic as well and reading books and as as well and that's where i'm going to be going i mean i'm never far from a deck of cards anyway um you know just one of those things they all i'll always have it on me um i'll always love magic but I want to come away from the community. Um, and Ian said, don't be negative, but 
I don't find I'm not finding it a great place at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think there's a lot going on in the community at the moment, isn't there? There's every man and his dog is doing a YouTube video of some sort. And there's so many people trying to record things and get ideas out there. It, it really muddies the water sometimes. And I'd rather us be a solid voice in a karma sea than just another voice in a really rough turbulent time and and kind of get lost away a little bit i want to end on a high like we are where everything's been solid it's been good we've had chats with really good people then risk it sort of petering down and, and fizzling out and like you said phil we've had pretty much every discussion that we can have we started off as an advice podcast rather than an interview podcast and we've we've done topics we've done everything the advice is all there we're going to try and put it on youtube as well so it'll be the audio files we play well on there and then it'll be free to listen to forever. So if, if you haven't caught some of the audio episodes, give us a couple of weeks and then check it out on YouTube and it'll be there for you. And we um, can still, I, yeah. You can still get on the website. You still get on the website as well. Absolutely. So check it out there as well. Um, yeah. But no, I, I'm, I'm leaving the podcast in a very happy place. I'm, I'm loving magic. I'm really getting back into our local magic club as well. Really enjoying that. Just helping people there. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, same, same. Mm, I think there's going to be um, <laughs> Ian's leaving on a, on a nice, happy note. But I think there's going to be a, a darker time for gigging magicians coming up with recessions and things. So people are really going to have to work hard uh, on the marketing, which I would then suggest mm. looking into Lee Warren's podcast and his group, the Professional Magicians on Facebook, just for advice and marketing. Um, you know. Uh, and and we've seen this before we've all but we've we've been through this a few mm. times on the podcast and so um yeah if you're a gigging magician make sure your market in is up to scratch and get back on on that kind of thing and building relationships with clients which has always been key for many magicians and myself as well mm. as Ian. i mean 50 percent of my work comes from word of mouth now um and that's just being around people talking to people and doing a good job um and, and so yeah uh Good luck, man. If you're a professional mm. magician, I think you're going to need it <laughs> in the mm. next in the next uh, year or two. Uh, and if you're not, then great, yeah. have fun doing your bits and pieces. Absolutely, and don't give up out there. You know, there's the, the opportunities are there. Don't let it knock you down too much. The hard gigs happen, but you can get there. I had a gig come through recently um, for a, my my top package for a wedding, full day package. And they said they'd seen me before, and I was asking, oh, great, I'll take the package, and then where have you seen me before? It turns out they were the family that came to the farm event that I did. I performed the same set. <laughs> I did, like, three shows to one family of three people. And um, off the back of that really random day, then they booked me for my full package for the whole wedding day. So you, you might feel like you're having the worst gig ever at the time, but it, it doesn't have to. Okay, a lot of the time it is the worst gig ever, but, you know, sometimes it does come through hang out the the rainbows there at the end of the storm well, well, i'm going full philosophical now phil stop me stop me Can no, no you're quick you, you you're right <laughs> because because um i had the same thing where i had a a gig in a so i do the old people's homes every now and again because i enjoy them i like them the people are slapstick they like that i like that sort of era of people where they're not offended by stuff that you say basically they mm. just laugh at you and call you a knob anyway but you still <laughs> have fun right and uh yeah, so doing my usual uh, old people's home sort of bit and uh, somebody booked me top package as well on the back of that. And and they saw me at, at my probably my worst, but also my best because it's no whole bars and, and yeah, I'm just taking a piece. So yeah, to echo that sort of idea. Yeah, that, um, that, that's pretty much what it was. But um, yeah, so yeah, I think we'll put a pin in it there and we, you know, it's not over. It's just we'll, we'll see when we want to do something again, if we ever want to do something mm. again. Um, you'll see Ian at some sort of convention, I'm sure, around. And at some point, on, um, you know, in the next couple of years, I'll, I'll jump in and do something as well, I'm sure. Um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, thank you for listening for all the years. Thank you for all the Patreons that uh, joined and all the wonderful people we met along the way and all the people we met who came out to see us as well. There's a lot of things we don't talk about on the podcast. A lot of people we meet in towns and cities and people who help us out, who have helped us out. The Facebook group will still be there. Um, I'm not sure we're going to rename it. Maybe we'll keep it as it is, but I don't know yet. Or just magicians advice and take the podcast out and, you know, that sort of thing. But yeah, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, man. So thank you and uh, leave your comments below. <laughs>
<laughs> Excellent. Yeah, thank you ever so much, everybody. Um, and normally we'd say like we'll see you on the next one, but at the moment, I guess we won't. We'll see you in the real world at some point. That seems really strange. Phil, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, man. Cool. Take care, everyone. Good night. God bless. And we'll see you again some other time. Bye-bye. <laughs>